The Nigerian police have arrested and paraded 17 suspects of examination malpractice from various states across the country. The first public relations officer, Mr. Frank Mba, discloses during the parade of the suspect at the police force headquarters in Abuja. He said that the West African Examination Council, WIEC, has begun a massive collaboration and partnership with the Nigerian police force to stamp out examination malpractice across the country. According to him, it is in line with the new approach that Nigerian police is presenting a total of 17 suspects who were arrested from different parts of the country, including in Bauchi, Kano, Nasarawa, Rivers. Some of the suspects are teachers working as supervisors in different examination centers. Wayek has begun a massive collaboration and partnership with a Nigeria police force that is designed to strengthen the integrity of its examination processes. In line with that new spirit of collaboration and partnership intended to help in stamping out all kinds of examination malpractices in this country, WIEC officials and leadership worked very hard with the Nigeria police force during the last August slash September WIAC examination that was conducted across the country to fish out all persons that are perpetrating or aiding the perpetration of examination mark practices in any of his form within the country. Also speaking, the registrar to the YA Council, Mrs. Omolun Hassan, stated that during the exams, the invigilators, after giving out question papers, snapped and sent out to candidates on various social media groups, which caused examination leakages. Adding that the council has devices that captured the suspect before the end of each exams. In fact, I remember that the exam started on the 17th of August with mathematics. And by the evening of 16th, while we were still preparing and packing the question papers, some things were already on air and in WhatsApp group. And I know that some students who are not um, very strong may decide to follow that. But alas, because it was not our white paper, they were deceived. They got to the exam hall and we saw their tweets and their WhatsApp messages saying it was 1,000% incorrect. It wasn't the right paper. So, One of the suspects, Mr. Hassan Beloved, disclosed that his intention was not for money, but to help the student after being at home for a long time due to COVID-19 pandemic in the country. Actually, some of the students are crying out the COVID-19. They have not been going to school. So I wanted to assist them. Mr. Frank Mba therefore warned students preparing for examinations to sit down and read their books to avoid malpractice, adding that all suspects will be arraigned in court after investigation. For Viable TV, I am Aminchi Audu.